Hello, let me go over the details and the homework requirements for your final project essay um, that were the due dates are available on Canvas. And basically, you're going to need to pick one of the six art history civilizations we've studied during the semester. So prehistoric art, Mesopotamian art, Egyptian art, art of the Aegean, ancient Greek art, or Islamic, uh, ancient Islamic art. And you're going to apply one of these project ideas that I have created. So I'm going to talk about that in just a sec. But you need to pick one of these final project ideas that I've created. So here are the three ideas. So the first one is compare and contrast. So you would basically take an artwork. This is from the prehistoric period. This is from the Art of Aegean period. And I'm comparing them. I'm doing a compare and contrast. And I've included the prompts that you would need to also respond to, do some research and reference in your essay. So of course, for your proposal, you will need to have the images and the artwork that you're including in your essay, your final essay, and all of the physical properties. So the name of the artwork, when it was made, where it was made, what it was made out of, all that kind of stuff. So that information that you gather for your outline, you will use it again in your final project. Now, if you change artworks or things like that, then obviously you would update your images. But if you already have that information for the outline, you can reuse it. So a lot of this information that we're going over now will be partly in your outline and then concluded in your final paper. So the physical properties, you'll talk about visual similarities and differences in the object, the, how the material might affect the style, the look of the object. So you'll be researching what are the objects made out of and how is that material affecting the visual style of the object, how the object might have been used, this was covered um, in the lectures, and you can also do some further research. The cultural context of the object in relationship to the civilization. So that's similar, right? But remember, we're going back to the cultural context. So you're not just talking about um, you know, what it was used for, but how it relates to what the civilization might have been doing at that time. Any visual significance or symbolism of the object. So that's also something that is either something you could find in the reading, something you could find in further research, and also reviewing the lectures and the PDFs for the different um, art historical periods that I'm asking you to reflect on. And then how that civilization lived um, and how that might impact the object's significance significant <laughs> symbolism, how it was um, signified, how the culture and the way they were living might have had an impact. So hopefully those will help you as you're navigating your final project. And this is project one. Project two is to compare ancient art with modern art. So this is also from the Aegean period. And this is a Pablo Picasso painting. So you can already see some of the similarities in these two artworks. So I've included another list of prompts. You can read through it. Ask me if you have any questions. If you decide to do this as your essay for the final project. So we've got the second one is compare ancient art with modern art. And here's just some examples again of um, things that were discussed in the lecture. And just as a reminder of what you might want to discuss in your final project. So this is Pablo Picasso's work, and these are some of the figures from the um, Aegean period. And then finally, um, the artifacts. Where should they be housed? Like a lot of the artifacts that we look at, unfortunately, aren't necessarily in the country in which they were might have been considered. Um, and so 
We covered all of that information in an earlier learning unit for this semester. I think it was during the Egyptian um, homework discussion post. So again, I've included um, some prompts for you to consider, but you're kind of taking that particular discussion post and picking an artwork from one of, you don't, not this artwork, you would pick an artwork from um, one of the civilizations that we've discussed and uh, apply these concepts and your ideas about that particular artifact. And the artifact has to be from one of the cultures that we've talked about. And you could obviously pick more than one for this particular homework assignment, but a minimum of one. So those are the three different um, ideas that you're going to pick one of these and explore that for your final project essay. I've also included, um, oh, that's a typo. Let me just fix that. Um, I've also included the definition for the visual analysis components that we discussed, just to remind you of that content. And then of course, you're going to be including both in your outline and in your final project, the image, the artwork that you're that you're relating to and discussing and the physical properties. So I've included here just as a reminder of what you need to include as the physical properties for the final essay project. So your outline is due first and you're gonna want to watch the video that's on that page but, and I'll go over these in detail. And then your completed final project essay um, will be about a, a thousand words. You'll, of course, embed the images like I've been saying, and you'll follow the prompts depending upon which project idea you are exploring for your final project essay. Okay, keep me posted with any questions. Thanks.